Ho ho ho, it's Christmas Eve guys, I hope Santa will bring you the new S7 Edge in coral blue. Guys, I feel your pain and I know the Note 7 uh, was uh, take out from the market, but it's the best way, uh, you know, safety is first. We got this awesome phone in coral blue in a dual sim this is dual sim it's not that important dual sim for example i use one sim but let's um, get inside the software and see the android the 6.0.1 android and i'm gonna tell you tips tricks what has been modified so guys this video it's all about the application inside the phone and the android 6.0.1 marshmallow guys please take a big cup of coffee and uh, view this completely tutorial and review of the applications i will present to you the new things the new features on this uh, updated uh, s7 edge coral blue of the inside all the inside of this wonderful coral blue s7 edge and I will tell you battery conservation tips and tricks, uh, application tips and tricks. You choose what is best for you in this video. I will tell you the real tips. I will tell you uh, what you can do with your phone to make it good, long lasting in battery life. We will make even a video at how to write a new firmware or the uh, good, clean, fresh firmware for this phone. First of all, you can see the always-on display updated on the first image. Uh, it has the battery displayed here and uh, a new thing. It will have the missed calls or messages. It will give you a number, one or two missed calls or messages. First thing, uh, this is an annoying new stand. So I'm going to teach you how to close it. First of all, just drag like this with two fingers and then go a briefing and a briefing we have a small turn off button and that's it you just turn it off and the main screen it will show a home button here and uh, you can uh, you can use a lot of pages like the the stock android if we are at the home screen i want to make a point for example at the old android uh, kitkat or uh, lollipop you can go at the application and select widgets you don't have widgets now and i <laughs> i uh, search a, a lot for the widgets so how can you add a widget here for example i add my storage and ram uh, widget in any blank space you can hold your finger and now here are the widgets and you can select for example I selected the smart manager the smart manager you know it's that uh, let's put it here it's that clearing of RAM well in uh, S7 Edge it will tell you uh, storage RAM and you will have it some kind of shortcut but you can find that uh, useful clearing also the application that uses battery so for example it cleared my ram my storage by pressing clean all it's a useful application i don't know if that shortcut will clean even the battery but uh, i will show you tips i uh, optimize my uh, my applications and a lot of features the edge the application edge for example i uh, put it for rapid commands here all the necessary uh, programs and uh, applications for me and not being that evidently uh, next you can select a program to run something to run a, an action predefined by you for example i can select to take uh, panorama it's uh, limited if you see here it's very limited oh let me dim the light a little bit so you can create uh, a contact for example here a quick contact you can uh, send the emails very fast you can make some kind of shortcuts in the people's edge you can select a contact to call or to send a message very rapidly 
next we have the Yahoo News, but you can customize you can customize your Samsung Edge. For example, what kind of feeds from Yahoo you can use a steps and when the screen is let me show you for example I don't know if the health will show me but let's see if you are sliding it will show you that information yeah you see I slide it and it shows me now the information of my steps you can put the 30 seconds or the 15 seconds the most important aspect of this phone is the camera because Samsung advertises that the camera uses low light it takes great pictures in low light conditions it's very sharp and it's very fast it focuses really really rapid really quickly and the and the details are Blended are awesome for example as a tip i like white photos it's not a big difference from 12 megapixel to 9 megapixel i told you is the sensor it's important i said this in the uh, part one of this uh, review tutorial um, is the sensor it's awesome the sensor from samsung to save you some time when you take a photo to go go in the gallery and see how uh, the photo looks uh, simply go in the options and review pictures because this method is uh, really quicker it's a second you saw it's a second that is displaying you the picture you see the picture you are satisfying with the picture you take another one HDR photo is not the professional HDR it illuminates the shadows for, in a picture for example the camera does well even if you have the sun behind you and you shoot in front of the sun it uh, manages good the light he knows that uh, the people should have the face illuminated and uh, the iris is opened up at the maximum value uh, it has a diaphragm of 1.7 the aperture is 1.7 yeah it's really really nice and the lens this lens it's optical it has a improved sensor as a tip for the camera uh, i want to shoot raw files yes the phone shoots raw files you can go to the uh, mode and select pro now at the raw files if you see here i cannot uh, activate this function for raw files yes the camera supports raw file like the professional dslrs so what's the problem i even took it in the pro mode and for this trick to work you have to select standard so standard from this uh, preferences with uh, the tones I had on Vivid and you probably have other mode that that uh, that raw file activation doesn't work so now here's raw and it saves the both modes the raw file and JPEG another tip if you want to record with the both cameras the front camera and the back camera at the same time you got to go at the mode and download because you know here in the modes you cannot use uh, that mode you cannot find it it doesn't have it and you have to download it this is the trick and uh, you got to go and download the dual camera the dual camera is very interesting it uses both cameras uh, to record at the same time trigger that and you use at the maximum capability the focalization uh, the focusing of the the camera and now you can select dual camera and it records both cameras at the same time if you can see it now uh, i dim the light we are not using here soft boxes because i want to to show you the screen and what's in the screen uh, i will do a review for this camera to compare it to a dslr but i want to tell you guys at the light this uh, phone will lose the battle in the first second you can set the white balance even uh, you can uh, do the ISO until 800. I think it will be until uh, a thousand, but it's on auto. I don't see the aperture, uh, for example, but uh, this is the focusing. If you want, for example, you don't have the numbers, but you can focalize 
on the uh, near objects and on the far objects. What I like is that you can make a custom profile uh, with conditions with white balance and you can save the profile here. This is kind of uh, nice. Selective focus, it looks like a professional camera, it takes two pictures and uh, with uh, those two pictures you can see that it's like a professional focus. Look at the deep of the field. Um, the contrast or the colors are not from a DSLR, the clarity is not, but the deep of the field it looks like a professional DSLR and with this function you can you can set the far, far focus and will defocalize uh, the first subject, the near subject to your camera or the near focus or the far focus you can use it and uh, at the near focus it applies some kind of uh, effect, a blur if you want like in the Photoshop and uh, it focalizes like a professional camera it's awesome right it's really really awesome I like this uh, function it's a best function the camera and the pictures are looking awesome uh, the, the details the details if you are looking here at the details are great the details are awesome look here at uh, this Audi Q7 um, what kind of detail it's made with the phone in daylight is true at the night shoot uh, the camera has some uh, let me let me bright up a little bit the image it has some uh, noise if you can see it but here I we didn't have any lights uh, low lights uh, at the event and uh, on these lights it's great, it's not a DSLR but you know it's a, it's a great camera, it's a great camera, it's the best cameras there is on the market. Um, uh, even I uh, saw reviews and the tutorials and uh, a lot of uh, folks compared to iPhone 7, it's better than iPhone 7 and sharpness and iPhone 7 has 8 months past uh, this, uh, this phone to be reasonable. I talk only at the clarity of the picture, not the power of the processor of, uh, or uh, other components. Now to show you the focalization how fast it is, just look at these two objects, right? It's fast man, it's incredibly fast. I amazed myself how fast the focusing on this camera is and, uh, and how fast the pictures are taken, right? Now for example we made with that function uh, near far focus and we can uh, put the far focus, we can select yeah, the far focus or the near focus you can do hyperlex virtual tours for your uh, company uh, you got to stabilize your phone very very good for this function you can broadcast live for uh, for youtube uh, and you have smooth faces in the download section you have you saw there you have a smooth face it applies some kind of smoothness to the face uh, you have a rear camera selfie even, uh, you have a lot, a lot of features uh, for this camera. Another great thing that the camera has, the previewing is in real time, it has the previewing uh, 50 or 60 frames per second. This is a new thing and an interesting thing. And a nice function for example, I want to focus on a subject, you have a menu, an option, you can click it and we will start and will uh, stuck on that uh, uh, object to focus every time on that object. Now to cool down this phone I will emerge it in water. Just kidding guys, it's waterproof. So for example now we emerge it in water and, uh, and uh, we see it has some problems with the water for example to photograph and video underwater. I dived the phone in the water two times and it uh, stopped my recording. Now the free time I'm lucky and it doesn't it didn't stop. It was good if uh, I can uh, block the screen like uh, watching a video with the power button. I didn't manage to do this. I hope will use this function somewhere or the Samsung if it's not the Samsung will develop this uh, this function for the camera because you can dive with the phone and make pictures and uh, 
record videos in the pool, in the wherever you want. The phone will never have problems because if you see here in the, these connectors, these two connectors uh, are perfectly sealed. Samsung developed a new strategy for uh, his uh, phones, for his underwater protection and dust, and it's sealed inside. So the phone will not have uh, any time if you drop it in the water, if you will start raining at 1.5 meters, 30 minutes in water. And I was looking for the settings of the phone and you see in the KitKat, for example, or Lollipop, you got the call settings here in the menu. I was looking for a long time for uh, that settings and the settings are in the phone. And you got to go in more settings and here are your uh, for example, you can put a color and tone, you can vibrate on answer or on the call ends and uh, you can get notification during calls like uh, uh, alarms or uh, someone else is calling you. Okay, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth are all the same. Um, the mobile hotspot, we find that it's you can use the Bluetooth uh, and the USB tethering. This is very important. For example, in USB tethering, you can charge the phone and still give with uh, the mobile data uh, internet to your desktop or your uh, notebook. Next, we have the da data usage. On the two SIMs versions like this Coral Blue, we have the one SIM and we can put the maximum data usage in amount on both SIMs and we'll get a warning depending how you use it. You cannot use both SIMs on, uh, <coughs> on the same time, sorry. You can, you have to choose, for example, you have a notification, here in notification, you have the voice call from SIM1, I put it, for the text messages also from SIM1, and the mobile data from SIM2. And in the SIM card manager, uh, I can choose what I like. Uh, for example, I can put also uh, the, in network mode, let me show you, 4G+, plus, for example the NFC and payment. Well, I had some problems at sending files. In my country, it's a pity we don't have payment from this, uh, from Samsung Pay. You have to install other application to make payment. I'm sure we'll make a tutorial for that in the future. So subscribe that button, guys. Next, the download booster will use your Wi-Fi and your 4G in the same time to optimize and increase your speed. The mirror link is okay, it's quite the same, but uh, you can uh, now you have to use the smart view button. Uh, it uh, renamed this function. So guys, have a great Christmas, uh, happy new year guys. Thanks for watching us and support us in uh, 2016. We promise to you to bring more free stuff that uh, you can use and develop and uh, help you in technology with devices. And thank you YouTube for having this channel uh, and uh, broadcasting to you free stuff, helping you with a lot of tutorials and uh, reviews. Be happy, love technology, because technology is part of our lives. We are iTechnology Reviews. See you guys. Bye.